Welcome back, everybody. As you all know, fall is going to be here before we know it, and that means it's time to change up our decor a little bit, and Marie's got a great way to do just that with wheat. Maria, are you kidding me right now? Oh, yeah, I love me some fall, and I am <laughs> a sucker for all fall decorations. But I have to tell you, wheat is one of those things that's just so beautiful because it has that natural element to it, yeah. it has that texture, and monochromatic decor, wall decor especially, is so in right now, and you don't get more monochromatic than wheat. And you can see right over here, I wanted to take sort of the elements of wheat. I've seen these really cool art installations that are made with wheat, and I wanted to take that sort of art and actually put it on the wall and create wall art. And I will tell you, this is so easy that anybody could do this, and it's foolproof. Which is why I'm here walls. right now. This is why To Cameron prove is Maria's point that anybody <laughs> could do this. I'm excited. It looks amazing, by the way. Thank I'm you. I'm super impressed. I'm a little overly excited about this. Okay, so it starts with something really simple, a wood round. Um, yes, so Cameron, that we're going to cut in half. Absolutely. So everything that for this segment, you can get online. Okay. These are just wood rounds. So uh, I recommend this, the wood rounds for this because they're really easy to use. You can get them. These are about a quarter inch thick. And you can do, I would recommend uh, 12 to 14 inches because you want to make a big statement with it. If you go smaller, you absolutely could. But because of the size of the wheat, that's a good, um, good length. So okay. what we do ultimately with this, with the wood, take your... Uh, just your ruler, and do your best to kind of find the center. If you go a little lower, a little higher, it's not a big deal. And I'm going to use a box cutter. You could absolutely use an X-Acto knife, too. I've scored this a couple times already, and what I mean by that is you just want to go through gently and push through. And we've done this, so you should be able to do it enough where it breaks apart like this. Be careful. There's a chance that my DIY casualty on my thumb was from prepping this segment. But then so you can that's feel, where I'm saying be careful. Then you can feel like a muscle man because you're going to go like, And or then not. you feel strong. And then Boom. you see how you on yours have a little bit of like some, uh, the extra little wood pieces. Is that because I didn't cut Because you <laughs> didn't cut it. So wow. what you can do is grab some sandpaper yeah. just like that. And what that is going to do is going to take all of that off. Well, that happens really. This is a nice soft wood, everybody. So it's uh, easy it's to score super easy. and easy to sand too. Okay, very good. So we've got our uh, half round here ready to go. Yep. Uh, but now we want to, you know, we don't want the wheat kind of all sticking out in all different directions. So you've got a great little technique to make sure it's nice and even. I do. So I did this with a process of elimination because I really wanted that structural element to it. I wanted it to look really, really pretty. Okay. So, um, and just as a side note, I'm going to set this aside, but if you can't find the wood, Ooh. cardboard rounds, get them in the bakery supply area. <laughs> you can use those as well. So I'm going to pop those aside. And okay. what I have here, I'm actually going to, I made my own. A uh, little compass, but you have one over there. She just DIYs everything. I DIY day. everything. This is just out of necessity. So what you do is you find your middle, and I, about an inch in. Okay. What I'm doing now is I'm actually going to create this sort of semicircle. And what this does, it doesn't have to be perfect, but what this does is it gives uh, the wheat a place to line up with. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. You know what it does for me? It takes me back to high school geometry. Yeah, exactly. Which makes me very happy. Oh, my son like is again. not in geometry yet, and that makes I'm just going to call you when he is, okay? Because okay, so that... now we... Hey, by the way, <laughs> as you're putting the weed on, yeah. you're going to show me how to do that. Like, a thought that came up for me is where do I go ahead and get this? Oh, you can get it online. Okay. You can get it online in bunches. So I will say for this, it took two bunches for one. So okay. you can see what I did is I did some hot glue on the edge. I'm going to turn it a little bit. You want to make sure it's going straight out. And what I did is I used my fingers just to make sure all of it was lined up beautifully. So Cameron, take a small bunch yeah. like this. And you line it up like this. Yeah, I'm with you. And you use your fingers just to make sure it's kind of structured all together like that. And so what that does then is it lines up on here exactly what you're doing. Yep. Maria, guess what I just did? Tell I me. got my first hot glue burn of the season. I burnt myself a couple times on this. <laughs> Listen, we are a little rusty. We need to get back in our DIY department. And can that I tell everybody exactly why this, <laughs> this DIY is extra special for me? My mom was actually born on and raised on a wheat farm in uh, central Canada. So this would be a great, for your be a great little Christmas present for her, don't you think? It would be a wonderful right? present for yeah. her, absolutely. I think so. And so as you see, you, you keep going through and doing this. I'm going to swap to one because I want okay. to give you, I you want to actually show you that with this one right here, you can see I've already done it. It looks really pretty, but I feel like she needs to be a little bit more 
full. So what I'm doing is actually doing another layer of the wheat. So it will take okay. two bunches of this and all you do for that is just layer it on top. So what I'm doing is just taking the same uh, things that I did before, but laying it right on top. Okay, so it. that way you fill in any kind of gaps. Yeah. Now, what about this other half round? Do we kind of finish it off and make it nice and clean on the other side, or we don't need to do that? Oh. You know what I mean by going like this? You know what you do? You flip it over. You just turn it over, and then that's the side that you're going <laughs> to so hang. This is, you made actually a very good point, Cameron. So I stuck with just <laughs> the plain wood as the front, yeah. which is I thought was so beautiful. But if you did want to paint this, or if you did the yarn that we have over right. on the side, or any kind of a stain, do that before you add the wheat on, because that's the back. It doesn't matter how it looks. The front is what's actually face down when you get started. Hot glue for the yarn as well? Hot glue for the yarn. It's really simple. I would just take my yarn, pre-measure, and I stuck with some, uh, you know, same tones, uh, the sort of monochromatic tones. I would pre-measure just like that. Okay. And then followed up with just some glue. And as you can see here, I did a little bit of like a rainbow sort of effect. And that's all you do. The, it the looks really nice. The yarn adds a little bit of dimension and texture. It does. I do like the natural wood effect too. And as far as hanging these, I mean, basically they're super light. You can use anything. Super light. I used mounting tape. And then you don't have to worry about ruining your wall. Just a little tip, everybody. Make sure you don't hot glue your thing to your uh, cutting mat. I yeah, just, that would be a good This is going to live here for a little while. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Full instructions for you. Thank you so much. Go to hallmarkchannel.com, everybody. And most importantly, have fun. <laughs> did you, you say, did you actually hey. get on there? Still to come, things get bubbly with our favorite Hallmark podcasters, Jackson Shaw. Now, more than ever, we need positive, uplifting content. And Ken goes to the head of the class with his clever homeschool organization cart. I already feel less stressed. <laughs> I love this.